Are you considering getting a robot vacuum but you don't know where to start? In this series, we're going to talk about various different robots, their price points, how they navigate, and what we would recommend. So first up in the series, we're going to review how robot vacuums navigate. Uh, starting over here with the Eufy, this is what's called random navigation. And so it's got a little bumper in the front. It's going to run around the house, knock into things, turn around, keep going. Uh, you may have seen that with like the Roomba in the past. Their entry-level models operate that way. They do have some magnet strips that you can put down and kind of contain uh, it to keep it in one area. Otherwise, the Roomba uses like a little, uh, little sensor you put down uh, to keep it from going any further or from bumping into, you know, dog dishes, uh, things like that. So the next step up in technology is going to be uh, LiDAR. And so what this does is it's going to map the space as it goes uh, very quickly. It's the fastest as far as mapping technology goes. Uh, very efficient. And then once you have that, typically within the app, you're able to set up like no-go zones or set for like defined rooms and then say, I want it to be cleaned in this order. Uh, so this is a huge step up. A lot of the manufacturers have the LiDAR version. Uh, RoboRock is another option as well that we tested, the S4. Uh, is really great. This happens to be the Neato D7. That's a great vacuum. Uh, then the other form of, is going to be a V-Slam. So using cameras uh, that are pointed upwards, uh, this does map the space as it goes. Uh, there's a lot of arguments between which is better between LiDAR and V-Slam. I don't really think the difference is that is big enough to, to worry about. You know, this might do better at like going underneath things and and so this is also going to map the the house as it goes and it's going to report back and have uh those no-go zones and room labels as far as the amount of time it took to like map things out i would say that lidar is going to be the fastest uh, followed by the v-slam and then at the end here we've got the roborock s6 max v and what's really cool about this is it has the uh, additional cameras in the front. So we're still using LiDAR, but then we've got uh, two cameras up here and those are actually used for object detection and recognition. And so it's able to go around your house and it, it will like see maybe the shoes are in the way and it'll identify that. And then within the app, it'll say, okay, I detected shoes. So I went around and you can see where it, you know, instead of just plowing forward and, and hitting it, because this guy is, you know, it's looking up. So it's not gonna see what's in front of it. It does have other little sensors here uh, to prevent it from just ramming into things. So it does do a good job with that, but it doesn't have any cameras, so it can't tell like what it is in front of it. Whereas this, it'll say, okay, I found shoes or um, debris, what, what have you. Uh, animal waste is one of the things. I did not test that though. I did not try to get it to run over that. That sounds like a nightmare. We always check our house before uh, running these vacuums. Our boys are pretty good, they go outside, but it only takes once, and that's gonna be a really bad, big, bad mistake. So, uh, yeah, we thought that feature was really cool. Is it necessary? I don't know. I, if you have like uh, kids that are leaving stuff out all the time, or you got some weird stuff around your house that it needs to avoid, sure, I think it's a great addition. Otherwise, you know, I, I think with just the V-Slam or a regular LiDAR, you're gonna be able to do the, all the navigating that you need to do and uh, just set up no-go zones around areas where you have cords a lot. Otherwise, it might go underneath something like a piece of furniture, grab that cord, pull it out of the wall, or uh, we've had it where like one of these is grab an iPhone uh, charger and then we were chasing it down the hall as it's like sucking it in, looked like it had a little tail, so. Well, it's entertaining, uh, not something you want to have to worry about. So it's certainly worth the extra money to get something with like LiDAR or V-SLAM over a random navigation bot. But in future episodes, we're going to talk about entry-level um, robots. You know, what's the best bang for your buck if you're just getting into this. And then we're also going to look at, you know, all the high-end options and say, what are the features that are worthwhile? Uh, which, which one should I get? And with our videos, you know, you may have noticed that we never really say this is the one. We don't say this is number one, number two, number three. We really just want to say, okay, here's what's different between these products. Here are the different features. 
here's things we like about it, here's things that we don't like about it, and allow you, the decision maker, to decide you know, what's best for your situation. So um, that's some feedback that we've had in the past. I just want to reiterate that we don't uh, play favorites. So we are completely unbiased in this, and I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more great content coming up.